all you girls and boys out there. Today, I'm showing you how to make blubber. Oh yeah. And so the ingredients you will need to need, <laughs> need to get. <laughs> um, I'm going to just glue the bottled stuff. And laundry detergent, the liquidy stuff. I'm just using gain because it's all I have right now. And I've made this stuff before with this two exact things right there in front of you. And it worked out pretty, pretty well. And then the things you'll need to make it with, as in your utensils, butter knife. That's just where I'm using the stir. You could use something else to stir it with. Two bowls, a small bowl, and a small bowl. I mean, you can make it all in one bowl, but I prefer two bowls simply because you can see how much of one thing you have and how much you have in the other. So what you're gonna do? Is you're gonna take one bowl, fill it up with the your laundry detergent, and then the other bowl with glue. And the reason I say two bowls again is because um, you can see how much you have in each one, so you don't have to go back and forth. Put added more, taking more out, which is really not possible. So I'm gonna put just about that much. Then what more to go? Oh, oh, we're gonna need that. We're just gonna go to stand out the the camera. <laughs> there we go. Right, now the other one, I'm gonna fill up with glue. And you don't have to fill the entire bowl because that might be too much. Now, after it's all done, you need to give this stuff time to like air dry so that it comes out right and it's not all sticky and stuff all the time. And these are my ingredients. Ingredients I came up with. Well, besides sew together. Um, the laundry detergent, glue, and water. But you don't throw that in there when you start to mix it because that would just ruin it as I've heard, but I'm not prepared to test that. So I'm gonna take all my glue, put it all in there. And as soon as it hits, it should start to clump. And then you should probably stir it some. But I wanna make sure I get all the glue. So I'm gonna spend a couple seconds doing this. Get you in there. Go, go, go. I'm just making sure I get it all in there. Making sure I get less place. Alright. I'm pretty sure I've got a really good bit in there. Then you want to stir it. And the glue, when you're stirring, I'll change the camera angle so you guys can see this. You guys, you guys, right there. A little bit more. So, maybe a little bit higher. <laughs> Sorry. There. This way you guys can see it. So, you're going to be stirring this up. And the glue might stay in the clump. You want to, like, chop it up. Get it all within there. You want to get it in and out. You don't just want it to be the glue that's just sitting in there. So you see that? That's slime. That's the slime part. And then you want to mix it in there so you see most of it's gone. And I would prefer maybe like a tad bit less uh, detergent than glue. Like just a tad. Just so you can make sure. And you can also make this stuff with borax or borox or whatever you say. But that's not available to us. And you can also make it with cornstarch and water. That will work too really good. But you need to have just the right balance between the two. And it's really hard to get that. So I'm just going to stir this up. <laughs> I got a little ball in the end. Alright. So, so after it's all pretty much clumped up. All clumped up into one. You want to take it out, and this is the messy part. And if you're going to make this stuff, you're going to have to take it being messy. 
So you just knead it back and forth until it's pretty good. And you work most of that unneeded laundry detergent out. And at the end, alright, once you see it starting to dry and develop, it's going to get real sticky because of the glue. And it's going to stick to you like a spider web when you open your hands. So you're going to want to warm it. You're going to want to run it under a faucet so that the water can get rid of that problem that you will have, probably. And I guess if you don't want to, you don't have to. If you want it sticky, have it sticky. But it's going to lose more or less within time of playing with it. So yeah, that's how you make it. You just gotta knead it back and forth pretty good. Then run right under some water to rid some of the stickiness. So that's how you make it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I want you to share it with your friends and all. And your family and tell everybody about it. And so yeah, bye.